What's up everybody? Today is a shipment day and we will be taking a number of cars to Nagoya port from our shop here at Garage Defend. But before I introduce you those cars that we will be delivering to the port, I'd like to show you something super awesome and super unicorn. Check out the car guys. And my car, of course, not this one, but right here, those ones. The fans of Gran Turismo know those cars extremely well I guess and they are all famous LM version GTR R33s and as you can see not one we have got here two of them here available in our shop but actually guys this LM belongs to a customer of ours and he just came to our shop driving it and there's a good possibility that we might end up purchasing this LM as well but of course, as you guys can see, the LMs all came with a special uh, batch like this. But in this video, I'd like to tell you guys about the other one. As you guys can see, this has got our Demon Racing Services, Garage Defend, of course, car came from our shop. And of course, LM Limited Version sticker as well. The customer has got on his GTR 33 LM. But this car, has just arrived to our shop last night actually and I was trying to make a special video about that but in the next video, not in this one, I'll be telling you guys a little bit more in detail about this particular LM and it is super clean, super fabulous condition. I'll be showing you guys a little bit about it. I think Nissan made about um, 186 LMs in total to, to celebrate their victories and races and out of that 86 of them I think were um, regular standard LMs and around 102 of them were also the V-Spec version ones but the one that we purchased this one is exceptionally well maintained it is a dent free it's got only uh, 18,000 kilometers and as you guys can see it has got the 400 R R400 uh, lips as well. It's got a number of modifications on the car as well, but the car is absolutely in a fabulous condition. Uh, I mean, a lot of, lot of upgrades on it, Nismo um, upgrades on it and, and stuff like that, but it will be all featured in the special video dedicated for this particular LM that we have just purchased and it is going to be available for sale at our shop as you guys can see from the interior of the cars as well it's ex exceptionally well maintained and clean one hell of a clean lm r33 gtr but again i will not be talking too much about this particular car right now because the focus of today's video is going to be delivering to Nissan Skyline GTRs, one GTR 33 and the other one is going to be GTR 34 which I actually will show you guys in a bit so but before that I will just want to pop up a hood and show you guys how clean this LM is as you guys can see there's a chassis plate as well so you guys want to take a look but anyways let's skip this two cars Although I could talk 30 minutes about them and focus on the cars that actually I'm about to deliver to the port. Actually, not me, but my uh, stuff here. We will be delivering them to Nagoya port. And out of those cars, first one is already here. Um, and we will actually be putting it to pickup truck and it will be on its way to the port uh, on our pickup truck. And that is. Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Well, to be honest with you guys, this car has got a little bit of um, exterior, a little bit of issues like this, as you can see, like this and like this. And here, as you can see here, a little bit here. And of course, at our shop, we try to fix those things and work on the cars, but there are cars like that as well. It comes with a little bit of uh, like a paint issues like that as you can see a little bit here as well but i was telling about those things to our customer as well and actually he ended up purchasing the car because of course 999 gtr 34 it is gtr 34 they're becoming super rare in japan and they are becoming extremely difficult to find and our customer who is actually 
going to have the car shipped to Guatemala, Central America, end up purchasing this particular GTR R34 and we will be having a car delivered to him in May 2019. So again, the car is great car. I think it's uh, it has got very minor issues, but it's nothing nothing of a major or anything like that. The car is accident free. It has got 134,000 kilometers in. Well, my customer actually reached out to me saying that, hey, I mean, I am looking for um, early uh, edition GTR 34 within this budget. And of course, he ended up basically purchasing this particular car. Let's check out the interior of the car as well. As you guys can see, it's a pretty standard interior. The car has got, of course, uh, 320 um, kilometer cluster, Nismo cluster, so original cluster was changed to Nismo one. And of course we have a document for that to prove. I think the original cluster had about 5,000 kilometers on it and uh, it was changed by Nissan, which we have a document for. And after that, uh, this cluster has supposed to have, what now? 128,000 kilometers, 500 as well on top of that. But anyway, so, so it's a pretty good car. Interior as well has got a little bit of issue. And that issue is actually this one, as you can see. And Nissan Skyline and GTR 34s, even 32s and 33s for that matter. Actually, this part is easy to be like um, cut off like that. And as you can see, every time someone, whenever you are actually getting off a car, so you smash this part. And especially when you have a key or something inside your pocket, this thing easy to be turned off and stuff like that. That's actually the case, what happened with this car as well i think so interior of the car except for this part is pretty clean and probably the mfd also needs to be replaced but yeah, other than that i think this car is one hell of a gtr 34 so let me run the engine quickly and guys actually i was driving the car a little bit earlier as well so it's all is good about the car and drives pretty awesome so I mean, it needs a little bit of maintenance, further maintenance, but it's gonna be very basic maintenance on the car as well. But uh, let's pop up the hood. So I wanna show you guys what the car has got under the under the hood. And by the way, the bonnet or hood is also aftermarket as you guys can see. And the car is accident free of course, but the bonnet has been changed to the aftermarket one here. And it's not a stock one, but here we go much stock um, stock engine and nothing has been upgraded on the car that much and uh, yeah car has got a little bit of a uh, uh, rusty issue here but it's not of uh, anything major or anything like that some um, and actually GTR 34 as I've been telling you guys a lot it's easy to catch a rust from here and I have seen GTR 34s this part got really rusty but this one is just of course it's getting started it's not good but it's not it's not heavy or anything, it's not of a major, anything like that, so, so, um, yeah, engine, you guys, I mean, of course, a look at the engine compartment, I'm trying to put the video like this, car needs, again, a little bit of extra further work, but it's not gonna be anything of a major work, I would expect on this particular car, it needs some love and, um, here the car definitely deserves and I'm sure that uh, our customer, it's Stardo Juarez by the way, he'll be more than happy to provide that love and care for this particular GTR 34. So now let me sit behind the wheels and turn the camera and I'll tell you a little bit guys about the GTR 34 market in Japan. GTR 34s being the most iconic Japanese sports car ever been manufactured. Uh, they are right now super hot in Japan. They are becoming rarer and rarer to find in Japan. I used to notice quite a number of them coming up for example at the auctions every week but these days maybe two or three at the most a week in all of Japan being auctioned. That means that is basically I'm telling you to show you how how rare this cars has become over time and look right now what year 990 2019 and this cars were manufactured starting from 1999 so 20 years old already but imagine what might happen by the time 
of the next five years when those cars become USA import legal they are gonna explode over time in their price and again those cars already become super rare in Japan and I have three or four customers right now with a back order deposit and he want me to source for example 999 of course the ones people want and like you know some people want white and one we have one customer who wants black v-spec version and they have this uh, car that they really want to find from japan and i am personally having a little bit difficult time to sort them in time of course eventually i'm pretty confident that i will be able to source those cars for them but again they are becoming very rare and it's not as easy as it used to be to source those cars for them at their within their specification so let me drive right now this lovely gtr 34 and i just want to get out of this parking place uh, safely because i have cars both at my backside and on my front so i don't want to crush this gtr 34 and be in a trouble but again i think this gtr 34 in value was super fair and i think I think uh, Estuardo made a great investment on this particular car. I think he bought it for his client or something as well. But yeah, I'll be driving the car a little bit right now towards to our another yard where we are keeping a number of cars. And in that yard, actually, we will be driving, uh, we'll be taking um, a look at another GTR 33 this time and remember I made you guys I made a video about uh, silver GTR 33 Angel he is a US military personnel with his wife uh, came over to our shop from Sasebo Japan uh, they drove more than 10 hours to get to our shop and they actually take took a look at number of cars that we have for sale at our shop and at the end they end up purchasing that silver GTR 33 um, uh, right now it's what now at the end of April 2019 and actually we'll be storing that particular car for him until the end of this year December uh, 2018 or until January 2000 what mm, January 2020 and we'll be shipping out that car to him to the United States as per his request and it will turn 25 years old by then but angel made a fabulous investment the price that he paid for that 995 february gtr 33 right now it's impossible to find anything like that in japanese market gtr 33s in general especially 995 versions become super hot these days in japanese market and they are really really hard to find at any part of japan and we have a lot of inquiries on them from the united states of course particularly coming because again us being the largest car market in the world we have a lot of customers from particular this country who want those cars badly so prices are going crazy i remember uh, if you guys follow me on my other videos as well i was actually driving one of the actually cans gtr 33 to nagoya port and i told you guys that hey GTR 33s are undervalued these somebody called me and I, as I'm recording this video on my phone actually the video stopped but anyways I was telling that hey the, the GTR 33s are so much undervalued because 44,000 GTR 32s 17,000 GTR 33s and 14,000 GTR 34s and I was telling you guys that how the phenomenon in Japan was that at the time GTR 32 is more expensive than GTR 33s and Japanese people keep cannot believe it because always GTR 32s used to be more expensive than GTR 32s and it's like iPhone 6 with iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 right now right so iPhone 8 is always more expensive than iPhone 6 so something like that the market was but right now actually the heat is up already GTR 32s these are so rare already and they are becoming more and more expensive and of course they are right now much harder than gtr 32s economics play pretty i mean like you know supply and demand pretty like uh, plays a strong hand here as well because of course gtr 33 is manufactured three times less than gtr 32s but again there are still a number of them available and it's still findable those cars but i imagine one year from now in 2020 let's say once those cars start popping up in the u.s market what happens then i'm sure it's gonna be price is gonna go even more like um wilder and the car is gonna be much much more rarer as well so 
Yeah, I mean, hey guys, if you are someone who has been trying to find the right car and waiting for it timing, timing probably is right now the best. As the moment goes, those cars are becoming rarer and rarer. And the people who are buying them, they never want to sell them back to the market again. And again, those cars are super limited in the price because of that as well increasing. So either you want a GTR 33 or GTR 34, right now is exactly the time that you actually want to go ahead and make this purchase before those cars become quite expensive expensive and I mean possible to find and those cars are becoming actually impossible to find these days so we just loaded the car GTR 34 and it's gonna be delivered actually in a pickup truck here at our pickup truck but the basically the R33 GTR I was telling you guys and I was featured I was featuring in the video that Angel and Sandra, uh, Sandra Bo is actually this one they bought it again once again everybody at a fabulous price um, made 20 cents I don't think it's it's possible to find a car like this at uh, that price anymore but this car is pretty clean and pretty awesome it's a v-spec as well so that you guys know and it's going to be delivered to them in about six to seven months from now and our boys right now here at the shop they are going to have the car deliver it to the port and this time uh, I am not going to be the one of the guys who is going to drive the car because I'm pretty much uh, very busy at the shop with everybody else. this was pretty much it about today's video for you guys that i want to share with you uh, and again both of the cars that we have here are right now on their way to the port and this one will be delivered to guatemala and the other one over there is going to be delivered actually be stored in our courtyard until uh, the end of december or um or um, January 2020 then of course headed to the United States to the hands of Sandra and uh, Angel so everybody thank you for taking your time to watch this video and uh, if you guys are in the market for any Japanese sports cars either be it GTRs and if you are someone who's looking for R34 or R33s particularly right now it's the best time otherwise it's gonna be, become really rare and expensive over time so feel free to hit me up don't forget yet to follow me on instagram i have an instagram page although i'm not posting a lot of stuff on it these days but again reach out to me um, and uh, i'll be more than happy here to source you the car that you deserve within your requirements and budget and have the car either stored for you until usa or legal if you're someone who's watching this video from the united states um, or have it delivered to basically any part of the world as per your request so guys Thank you, and I look forward to see you guys in the next videos. Cheers.